Sampdoria Career Mode. So welcome back to another episode in this uh, Italian challenge, you know. And uh, this time I thought we would talk about our strikers. Um, we are trying with advanced forward. Uh, we'll see if that suits the way we want to play. Um, but we, we'll give it a chance and start with that. Um, we play with one striker. Uh, we have Massimo Koda, or veteran, who is sadly going to drop in uh, value in this season. That's his old age, you know. And on the other side, we have Entanda, young 18, 19, 19 years old striker. I don't know what to expect from him. So maybe Lagomina is our striker this season? I don't know. That's... I think he's the one I would like to prefer, but. I don't think any one of these three is the, our striker for the future, but for this season, maybe it's good enough. We'll see. Building to a crescendo all week, and very shortly it will be for real. We have all the action for you live. And a warm welcome on what is a fine day for football. I'm delighted to be able to report. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And we've got pulsating league action coming up for you. It's Modena facing Sampdoria. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. So the initial 11 for the home side. Well, in this formation, it's the fullbacks who have to get forward to provide the width because the midfield and front players stay very narrow, but it should allow them to control the middle of the park where they are dominant. And the initial 11 for Sampdoria. Well, it's a 3-4-2-1, so it's going to be interesting to see what's expected of the wing-backs here. Are they going to be high up the field or drop deeper to make a back five? Only time will tell. Totino might work out. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Shot attempted. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. Could be dangerous. And a goal, the equaliser. Superb entertainment. Totino. Coda. 
This could be troublesome. And there is the goal to re-establish their advantage. Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Mendes. Oh, did so well to deny him. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Ideal for the goalkeeper, for any keeper. That is that for the first half here. What can they do to stop him running at them? Could be, and he's gone for power, so close to finding the net. Well, oh, that's splendid play. Real chance. Oh, tremendous reflex action there from the keeper. Well, he didn't have long to react, did he? But that's a top-class save, I have to say. Well, the fans believe there's hope here. Can the players respond now? Could be threatening. A smart stop here. Mendes. Incisive pass. He might be able to make it through. And it's a goal. Level again. What a match this is turning out to be. And it will be a throw-in. <laughs> Difficult to stop him. Really vital interception here. Can he put them in front? Well, the post getting in the way there. Danger averted for now. Oh, that's a really good run. And a fine cross. Oh, a goal! And is that going to be the one that wins it for them? There's every chance, and the fans are lapping this up. outcome as far as the visitors are concerned well Derek it was a poor result but it was a really tight contest both sides had their chances could have gone either way but in the end they will be disappointed my feelings are the same I'm disappointed I mean losing at the end of the game like that oh, that hurts and especially when we had that great opportunity by Lagumina with five minutes left of the game he hits the post so that's sports for you right and sometimes you're lucky sometimes you are unlucky yeah, it hurts yeah. it would have been great to have a victory against them um, Odena but it wasn't meant to be so yeah just shoot up and uh, Looking forward to the Coppa Italia game. Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week, and we're just moments away from kickoff time. Stay tuned for the live action. Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome.
I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner, Stuart Robson. And we have live action from the Cup to bring you. It's Sampdoria, and they take on Como. Well, there's nothing like a good Cup run to boost confidence, and these two teams will be hoping this could be their year to win this tournament. Yes, there's a long way to go, but this is still a big game for both teams. And the initial 11 for Sampdoria. Well, it's a 3-4-2-1 with three at the back, two central midfield players and two wing-backs. But the two behind the centre-forward will be key today. They need to play well, that's for sure. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, it's the basic 4-4-2 formation, but played well, it can be really effective. And key to its success are the wide midfield players. They have to be fit, they need to be able to run with the ball, and they need to double up with their fullbacks. It's a really tough role for them. Chance to play it in. An attack full of promise. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. And nicely struck. And couldn't quite square the game. Close. Well, it's certainly a decent effort, but not quite good enough. They still trail here. Simone Verdi. This could be troublesome. And he's through. There it is. Turn to the good now. And that gives them a buffer. <laughs> Referee let that one go. Play on. Really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. Well, half time coming up, and this is not exactly what the home fans came to see. Stu Velotti! Well, given the position he found himself in, he really should be testing the keeper. Superb opportunity squandered. So the whistle there. We're up the halfway stage in this match. Well, as we highlight him, you've got to say he hasn't been playing to his usual high standards in this game, Stuart. Normally so very composed. Well, the team are struggling, and so is he. He just hasn't been able to get control of that midfield area. He's worked hard enough, but he's been outplayed. And an intriguing second half in prospect. Might lead to a chance. Well, if you're going to challenge like that, it has to be spot on. 
What did the referee think of it? And he's been dismissed. This will be a real test of their defensive resilience. Well, he had to go, didn't he? They'll need to reshape their defence quickly here. And support available. Oh, danger here. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. And time for the change now. We will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. It has to be! Now without putting too fine a point on it, he's missed it. There's the final whistle, and the visitors move on. Well, what a good attack and display that was. The passing, movement and creativity were of the highest quality. They'll certainly be confident going into the next round. He'll be pleased with his performance today. He looked sharp physically and mentally and really stood out for me in a good win for the team. I, I was looking for a Coppa Italia game, but yeah, Como, who is not one of the best teams in Serie A, definitely not, showed us that we are not a Serie A team yet. Uh, we are definitely a Serie B team. And they, they show that there's some big difference in class. They have just learned the lesson. Cameras trained on one man. Three goals in three games, a nightmare for opposing defenders. The action is next on EA TV. Well, most of the fans in attendance here have had to bring their umbrellas and wear their raincoats. It's a soggy day for this match. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we're very much looking forward to bringing you league action today. It's Sampdoria, and they take on Bari. Well, as always, I'm looking forward to this because both teams have strong aspects to their game. Both managers like to play attacking football, and we've got some good matchups all over the pitch. Alex Ferrari. And the initial 11 for Sampdoria. Well, it's a 3 4 2 1, so it's going to be interesting to see what's expected of the wing backs here. Are they going to be high up the field or drop deeper to make a back five? Only time will tell. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Well, same system, but different types of players, which will make for an interesting contest here. Who wins the battle out wide will probably win the game. But as we glance at the table, it really is shaping up to be a captivating season. Highly competitive, especially. Must take the lead here. It's still alive. Fine goalkeeping to push that away. That's a good-looking ball. It's come off the keeper. And cleared away. crisp effort but just why just the challenge that was required oh in with a chance and a goal what nil it is they've been crushing for the opener and now Gennaro Tutino. Well, on a good day, that might have gone in for the equaliser. Yeah, I agree. That was half a chance, I would say. But they still trail here. Lasagna. Takes aim. 
Well, as he hit that one, it looked as though it had a chance. So the whistle then, we're up the halfway stage in this match. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Trying to open up the defence. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. keeping us right up to date possession one that's a good looking ball no shortage of excitement level again no wonder they're excited Well, here we can see it again. It's a beautifully weighted ball behind the back line. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. And he has options available. The fans are shouting, shoot! And what a magical save it was! He fancies it, and the keeper stretching to deny him. And there is the referee's whistle for full time. Even Stephen here, they can't be separated. We were treated to goals, and Stuart interested to get your verdict. Well, Derek, what a good game it was. Plenty of chances, some good attacking play, and a couple of outstanding individual performances. I really enjoyed that one. One one against Bali. Not bad, I'd say. I'm really happy that we managed to equalize there. Great goal. But by our star, Estanis, could you say that? That is our star. Definitely one of our best players so far this season. So, yeah. Maybe with another striker, we would have won this game. But uh, yeah, at least we didn't lose. Uh, so we take that uh, and bring us with us. But yeah. I don't think the board is that happy with uh, our placement in the league right now, but uh, I do feel that we are getting better and better learning how to play this style and what players should we want to use a little more than the other ones. So it's a long way to go and uh, on the next episode we're going to reach the half pass of the league season and uh, yeah, there are only four points from the promotion players.